My name is Marco Harris. I play guitar, and I'm a walking, talking bacterial infection. Here in my room, see my books. Books are important if you if you want to make money. Just picked up a, a Subaru. <laughs> I just play with you guys. Um, hope you like my my Ty Lopez impersonation. Um, even though I'm giving him crap, it's kind of cool that he inspires people to like make content. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you like that edit I put together of about a girl. Uh, it's one of my favorite Nirvana songs. Uh, it's about a girl. How do you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's actually about it. I, don't, I have no idea what the lyrics mean, but uh, people put their own meaning into lyrics. Anyway, um, I, I just kind of yelled at you guys. Anyway, um, let's get into our blog. What do, what do I want to talk about today? Um, so, it's, uh, it's Christmas season, and, uh, you know, I, I wasn't actually looking forward to, like, Christmas, actually. I wasn't, uh, not a big fan of Christmas. I don't know why I'm not a big fan of Christmas. It's... I got something to do with, like, I think it's like <laughs> a capitalist trap. But, uh, it is nice to get things, and it is nice. This is the first Christmas where I, like, thought of someone other than myself. I usually just buy for myself, but, like, I thought of someone other than myself. And it was, like, a, a weird experience to think about someone. When I, when you go shopping, so lately in life I've been trying to be more courageous myself more, uh, be honest with people. Like even like my parents, so like my parents, my parents are gonna be, get mad at me for saying this. Like they use me as like a medium to talk when they can just talk to each other. So, like I like I was tired of like I was tired. I'm tired of being the messenger man, honestly. Like doing the same. I just I just tell them now. I'm just like look and talk to your, your spouse. I have done being like Marco the medium messenger. I just told them that. I'm a, I hope they can serve. <laughs> they can fight over it. So lately I've been uh, been working hard at just being my weird self. I did like, I don't know. I feel like it's a good thing. So maybe just to, to, to be yourself. Working out for the most part, maybe. Um, also, I've been, this past two or three weeks, I've been getting up at, at five in the morning and uh, working on my, my my dreams, music and my art and uh, learning learning how to, to, to try to market myself more. Um, the thing is, I'm not saying I am good, because um, I think um, I'm like 
getting decent. I'm like, okay. But the uh, thing is, if, if you stu do start making good content one day and no one knows you make it, it's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> like, if, like, one person knows that you make awesome music, like, it's not going to not going to develop into anything so i've been trying to learn how to to market myself on help other people um help other people get what they want i can get what i want it's like, like a win-win right so um right now i'm um i got into some artist dms got got into those slid into those dms uh one of the artists i follow on twitter made uh speed drawings but um there's no music because all the music they want to use is copyrighted. So I was like, hey, I'll send you a couple. So I have to make some thinking like p peaceful phantom, piano music or peaceful guitar music. With beat. So yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I, I actually, I hate going to the gym. I do not like going to the gym. I like the results what it gives you. But one thing I found that um, makes the gym more fun, you know, like, or like anybody, I guess, is uh, you can dance to the random music they have playing in the gym. Um, so like I'm, I use t that time to practice new dance moves. So I, I um, I pick or I, I'm trying to learn to shuffle, and I'm trying to learn b boy dance moves. Like I shuffling's kind of cool. Like I saw that, like shuffling, because I'm. Uh, oh yeah, I picked up my t tickets to go to Resolution, which I'm like super excited about because. Like my second big rave, my first big rave, I went to uh, I went to a shell tour, but I was having an allergic reaction the whole time. My eyes were like closed up, <laughs> and uh, um, it was like a side effect from my medication. Like I had I wrote a blog about or a blog about it. Like I was trying so hard to have a good time, but it's like it was so hard to have. A, well, I did have a good time because it was pretty dark and no one, hopefully, no one could see my face pretty well. But like I uh. I walked up there. Uh, it was hella dark, and I, apparently I was looking hella bummed because some random chick was just like, "Wow, you look fucking depressed." Excuse my language. I'll, I'll bleep it out. Um, <laughs> like you look pretty down, pretty much. Like, do you want a hug? And I felt so bad about myself. I told her no, and I told my mom about that after. Like, wow, she, she must have felt like shit. You know, like <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to to ask someone. Um. Something like that, and like, yeah, I, I get that. It's just, yeah, it was bad. Bad. Okay, well, so so going into the future, what do I plan to do? I try to keep these like shorter than you. I don't want you guys to get bored, but I want, I want to, exp I want to express myself and like listen to what you guys have to say too, because I'm, I'm like, I'm not the only one that who uh, struggles, goes on the struggle bus. Yeah, I've been, I've, I've just been working, uh, to build confidence and be myself. I look at people in the eyes, and it's really hard for me, it's even hard for me to look at webcam in the eyes, as weird as it sounds. I mean, getting, um, more comfortable with it because of work. I, like, I'm forced to make these uh, <laughs> car reviews, well, they're, they're like test drives at work, and they're super fun to do. Sometimes I get to roll in super dope cars, uh, and stuff, so... Uh, I get to pretend like I'm a rich man, like drive Audis and gamers, and <laughs> like that's fun. Um, I I make a uh, some, some silly videos with my man Farb, make some fabulous videos <laughs> at work. Um, oh, one thing I want to talk about um, is sometimes the risks you take don't always pay off. So um, at the Children's Museum, um, I, like in the gallery, I started putting my art up. And uh, I don't think my manager was too happy about it, but I don't think she wanted to tell me directly. She took it down, and like apparently my art wasn't kid friendly enough because the girl had her mouth open. Like I think it's the the, the soda power level one, or uh, like the Little Mermaid is too exposed. Apparently, even though it's like a Disney film, people watch it with their. I was like, God. that was sad. Um, I'm gonna still uh maybe. Maybe I can take it as a challenge and make some more, try to make my my art more kid appropriate. But I felt like I don't know. We'll see. And uh, oh yeah, so I've been I've been making more mixes. Um, I make DJ mixes, and uh, now I have to like put playlists together and stuff. And uh, I found a good way to 
critique them is to like put them on when I'm just doing. It's not even like in the vain way of like, oh look, uh, I'm... <laughs> I actually I hate my mixes. I don't like sharing them with people. Like uh, like uh, your search history. It's something that you don't want people to see. Like all your own, like uh, like uh. Or like your old Instagram. Like I kind of want to go through my Instagram and delete. Like I, it seemed like a good idea. All the stuff that seemed like a good idea is really embarrassed. It's like just even sharing it, your Instagram was something to talk to. I don't want to share my. <laughs> I literally told them. I was like, no, I don't want to share my. Nope, 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 not happening. But then of course you get coerced into it. Because yeah, you get coerced into it. You feel like a fool. Oh, actually, another thing I've been doing to like help improve my mixing, as I'm just rattling off a billion. I'm listening to to DJs I like. I'm listening to their mixes, so I've listened. I've listened to a Midas mix, listened to a Porter Robinson mix, and uh, I think I'm gonna listen to some some Getter mixes because uh, that was recommended to me. I don't Excision's like too ham for me. It's too ham. I'll, I'll listen to some Mad, Mad Dion mixes and other stuff, but. Yeah, so that's that's like the status of my life. I, I edited it. I hope you guys like that, my singing. I'm trying to improve it. I've been working working on trying to... I found that kids' songs are actually really good for improving... Um, improving um, your your voice or like the accuracy of your notes because like they're very simple. So if you mess it up, if you mess it up, you could tell really badly. And um, since I'm not familiar with a lot of like these more basic songs in my mastering the guitar book um i don't know the melody so i have to kind of like play it play the melody with the notes and then figure it out from there so yeah that's my life here in my garage my books <laughs> dude if i ever beat that guy i would actually be so happy if i met that guy but um yeah that is, that is the life of marco and um I, I thank you for watching and i and i hope uh you get, i want to hear some comments like what do, what is going on in everyone's life? This, like, I feel like my life is just blazing by a billion miles in an hour, and I can't even keep up. I can, like I can't even journal fast enough. Like, while I try to journal, I fall asleep on my bed, and then um, I have to like journal three or four days. Like, it's so weird how much stuff happens in a day. Like, just write about the your day for like a whole five hours. I feel, and yeah, that's yeah, whatever. I'm I'm just ranting at this point, but bye.